Wayne living on a prayer goes into the Livermore Classic this weekend after a really good win on the middle day. How'd she come through it? Uh, yeah, she's come through really well. Yeah, she um, likes the course too, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Had you expected her to perform so well on that middle day? Uh, yeah, well, I first go over distance, and it's what she's been wanting really. So yeah, I was uh, quite you know, confident. Yeah, and she's been a mare who's been you know competitive at the at the good levels right the way through, hasn't she? Yeah, definitely. Uh, last year, or last time campaign, she raced in a lot of the good races, telegraphs and railways, and and that, and she's always thereabouts, but. Um, distance should be a go. Absolutely, and now she's at, at weight for age level at 2,000 metres. It is probably her biggest test though, isn't it? Oh, definitely, you know, to meet um, Melody Bell and Avantage you know, on the same weight is pretty tough in that, but if we got a good run, like a good draw would be the main thing and getting a good run like last time, and that she's got a good little turn of foot and would be wrapped to get uh, third and you know, get a group one placing or something. Yeah, you've got Sam Collard aboard, uh, and obviously, you know, it's a it's a race where you're wanting a, a an experienced Group One jockey. Yeah, definitely. And Sam has ridden it before, so that's a plus as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, we, how will you play this one? Probably tactically with a decent draw. Yeah. Well, def if she if she bounces like she did the other day, she should just put herself right in it, really. But there will probably be a bit of pace. Okay. And uh, up against those good ones that you you talk of, what can you expect? Yeah, well, as I say, we're just hopeful if we get a good run, you know, the draw is the main thing and getting a good run and uh, she's not a very big horse but uh, she won pretty well last time and it, it was a pretty good time too, it was, um, 0.5 seconds outside the track record for that time, held since 1999 by yeah. sent home. Okay. Uh, Wayne, you also had a Melda Mary in but you, you've opted for another path, can you just tell us what's going on with her? Uh, yeah, well, she was looking like this morning probably getting in there as well but um, they were both well down the list a couple of weeks ago and... Um, so she's headed to Melbourne this morning and um, she's aiming for the Matriarch Stakes on the last day of the Cup meeting. She'll have one next Friday, hope all going well, at uh, Mooney Valley the night before the Cox Plate and then the next one will be the Matriarch. Okay, you, you must be really happy with it to be sending her off to Australia. Uh, yeah, well, I, had a, I was a bit disappointed for a start at, after Taranaki but um, weighed everything up and the, you know, the track and that and she got... Uh, chopped off a bit, turning for home and put it back last and come up the inside. So yeah, weighed everything up and thought, no, we'll press on. Obviously the travel uh, logistics are, are a little bit different to what they've been in the past. Uh, what have you done about getting someone over there to, to look after her? Uh, yeah, she's going to Brett Scott, though I normally stay there and he's always looked after me and um, you know he can look after while she's over there and train her over there. Okay, a couple of old jump jockeys together. Yeah, definitely, yeah.